now I want to look at these things what's balance of payment um, balance of payment is um, this is a difference uh, between this is between a country's receipts difference between a country's receipts from abroad and its <coughs> total expenditure abroad now as you know Uganda trades with other countries so Uganda uh, trades with other countries we can say this is our, our map of Uganda okay uh -huh, good so we have here uh, Uganda this is Uganda this is Congo this is Tanzania and uh, let's assume this is Kenya and Sudan up here so all other countries there's Uganda um, buys some goods from them and sells some goods from them because we are an open economy so we carry out international trade so now uh, there are after selling some goods outside let's say the farmers in uganda sell some coffee outside they will bring back the money they have got from selling uh, those goods um, if we get some loans from uh, kenya maybe kenya offers us a loan to help construct our infrastructure it will come into uganda that will be a receipt if tanzania gives us some money then that will also be a receipt money coming into uganda if congo also gives us some money and uh, then it will be a receipt or if our traders go to congo and sell some goods and then bring it back to uganda that is also a receipt and if uh, or some sudanese also bring some money into uganda then that is also a receipt so that's what you're saying yeah, it is the difference between a country's receipts from abroad and its total expenditure abroad now you have to know that uh, we also spend abroad and uh, we buy so many goods from abroad and uh, that means if we are taking the money outside if you go to Congo and take their money to maybe go and tour you are moving some money out of Uganda if you move to Tanzania and you you go to the coast maybe to see some things to tour and uh, buy some gifts from there then you're also uh, taking money out of uganda if our ministers went to kenya for a uh, conference then they would spend some money in kenya and that will also be a total expenditure abroad so we sum up all this in one given year and uh, we get what we are uh, calling our balance of payment it will be the difference between a country's receipts from abroad what we get from abroad the total amount of money we get from abroad minus the total money we spend abroad so it will be the total total earnings from abroad which is total receipts minus the total expenditure and all this is abroad I hope you understand that we are just comparing how much money that enters Uganda from outside and how much money flows outside Uga from from Uganda how much money do we give to other countries and how much money do we earn from other countries so that is uh, balance of payments the difference between a country's receipts from abroad and its total expense abroad in a given period of time that is what we call balance of payment now we have two types of uh, balance of payments as you can see we have two types of balance of payment it can be either uh, a, a, an equilibrium or it can be a disequilibrium so of course uh, an equilibrium balance of payment equilibrium means there's something equal so that means the total here the total receipts from abroad will be equal to the total expenditure abroad 
that's what we call the balance of payments equilibrium and if you're talking about balance of payments this equilibrium of course here the total receipts are not equal are not equal to the total expenditure abroad so that means they are either less or more than uh, either the total receipts are more than the total expenditure or the total expenditure is more than the total uh, receipts so that is what brings in this it brings in from balance of payments this equilibrium we have uh, the balance of payments surplus and we have the balance of payments deficit so that's why we shall have what we call BOP uh, deficit and then we have what we call a BOP surplus I hope you are <coughs> still together uh, there's there is someone that enters Uganda and there's someone that gets out of Uganda so we are trying to compare that the difference is what we call in the balance of payments now we have two types of costs we have balance of payments equilibrium and we have balance of payments disequilibrium now a balance of payments uh, equilibrium is where the total amount of money entering Uganda is equivalent to the total amount of money getting out of Uganda but a balance of payments disequilibrium means that they are not equal so from the disequilibrium we have they are either less or more so that means we are going to have what we call a BOP deficit and they have what we call a BOP surplus so this is what we call a BOP deficit so a minute to guess okay so now you, as you can you may have guessed BOP deficit means that the total here the total receipts the total receipts from abroad are less are less than the total expenditure abroad the total receipts from abroad are less than the total expenditure abroad the total amount of money we get from uh, outside Uganda or the total amount of money which is entering Uganda is less than the total amount of money which is getting out of Uganda take for example if um, the total receipts are 40 of uh, maybe 40 million dollars 40 million dollars and the total amount of money spent abroad is 60 million dollars so that means we are spending more outside of uganda than we are earning from there that means we have a bop deficit and as you can recall from all the um from from whatever subjects you have done since primary i think you have come about uh, come across the word deficit and it is used to mean a situation where you are spending more than you are earning so in this case still the country is spending outside more than it is earning from outside and uh, of course now the opposite of that is what we call a BOP uh, surplus the BOP surplus a BOP surplus will be um, that situation where the money coming from outside here a BOP surplus means um, sorry BOP surplus will mean that um, the total for a BOP surplus okay for BOP surplus the total expenditure to expenditure abroad is less less than the total earnings from abroad from abroad let us say, um, so take for example a situation where um, the country's uh, total, um, 
so the total we are spending outside um, will be 60 million dollars 60 million dollars is the total expense abroad and uh, the country's earnings from abroad this is the expense here and uh, the country's earnings from abroad is uh, maybe say 100 million dollars so this is our earnings from abroad so it means the country is uh, spending uh, less than it is earning from abroad so i hope we get that uh, clear okay so um, thank you very much i hope you have uh, tried to understand uh, what we mean by a BOP deficit a BOP surplus and what BOP means so thank you uh, once again